Hello, welcome to Lifestyle with Sharon, the video channel that does a cooking video every Wednesday. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a vegetable pie. If you like the video, do give it a, a thumbs up. And of course, I'd love to hear your comments on what you would like to put in your vegetable pie. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel. It's free and it just allows you to see more videos. And there is your lovely vegetable pie. Right, and then to a food processor, you want to, and you don't need to sieve the flour, you just put in your flour. You want to put in your butter, which you would be better off just chopping into little squares. If you don't have a food processor, you can just do this by hand. And if you look at the link below for the cheese and onion or cheese and tomato, I actually show you how to do it from hand if you don't have a food processor. So just mix the flour and butter together. Now we just want to add some water. And you just get stuck in there with your hands. Take it out of your bowl. And you want to just gather it all up together. And form it into a ball type shape and then you want to cover that in cling film and leave in the fridge for about an hour right so when you're chopping your vegetables up make sure that you do put a tea towel underneath and it stops the chopping board moving around so we're going to dice up some onion Red onion is usually quite nice when you're doing a vegetable pie. And if you want to know how to chop an onion up without crying, I'll put a link below. Right, now we're going to dice up some carrots. And just make sure your fingers are bent so you don't cut yourself. And use a sharp knife. Right, we'll cut some broccoli. And we'll cut a cauliflower. Right, we want some sugar snap peas, so we'll just cut the ends off. Right, so you just want to cut these in half. And we cut some leeks, so we start by cutting the end off. I tend to peel the outside one. Yeah, so we're going to cut circles. So again, make sure your fingers are bent, and you're just going to cut like this. Right, into a hot pan. Put some olive oil okay so you want to add some onions i find doing it in the wok is best because it just gives you that um, freedom to mix the vegetables around it's a bit easier than doing it in a frying pan of course you can steam it if you wanted to but i find doing it in the the wok is the best way to do it also by using um two wooden spoons it's easier to mix it around than just one, especially when you have lots of vegetables. So now we'll add some carrots and you'll see with all the lovely colours coming into it, it just makes it look so nice. You could add mushrooms to this if you wanted to. I don't personally eat mushrooms, so I don't cook with mushrooms, but you can add it to this pie. It would be nice if you like them. Okay, we want to add some cauliflower. I mean, you might want to do different vegetables, whatever you like. And of course, if you find that you've added a particular vegetable that you think goes really well with it, do add something in the comments. It lets other people know um, what other combinations might be quite nice. We want to add our sugar snap peas and see how all the lovely colours coming into it. Right, we'll add some broccoli. And of course, if you do grow your own vegetables, it's, it's nicer. But even just getting them fresh from the shops, it's just so full of goodness. Want to add some leeks. We'll season this with some salt. A pinch of black pepper. Some ground ginger. Some nutmeg. And see all the lovely colours coming together. And you just cook this for a, a good sort of 15 minutes. 
And earlier on, I um, steamed some potatoes and I diced them up and I'm just going to add these. And this is your filling and now I'm going to show you how to make some cheese sauce. You can use different types of sauces, you don't have to just use cheese sauce, but this particular video I'm going to show you how to do it with a cheese sauce. And if you find it getting a little bit dry, just put a little bit more olive oil in, or you can use a bit of sesame seed oil. Okay, when now when you've added the potatoes and after they've been cooking for a few minutes, um, you will find that they'll kind of mush up in amongst the veg, but that's perfectly okay for what we want to use it for. Right, now we're going to make the cheese sauce. We'll put this to one side while we're making it. We're going to melt some butter. Once our butter is melted, we're going to add some flour. Just add a little bit at a time and keep mixing. Now you want to cook this for about one or two minutes with the, the flour and the butter mixture together. So it will be, look like this, look quite lumpy. That's quite normal. And you just really mix it well. Now some people like to use a whisk, but I like to use a wooden spoon. So whatever your preference is, just give it a good beating. Okay, so after about two minutes, we want to start adding a little bit of milk. So we'll add a small amount of milk, and that'll get thick again. And just give it a mix, keep mixing. So it'll look like this, and that's okay. And then just add a bit more milk. So be careful when you do first add the milk because it can splash, but just mix it around constantly, just a bit slowly when you first add the milk. And then once it gets thick, give it a good beating. And just keep doing this until it gets thinner. See, when you're mixing that around, see how the consistency is changing? It's still very thick and it's getting kind of sh quite shiny. And just again, just add some more milk again. And just keep adding it until it gets to the consistency that you want. Okay, now we're going to add the cheese, but it's very important to actually take it off the heat. So turn your gas or your electric off. Um, obviously, if you've got an electric, just move your pot into a, a cold ring and just leave this for about five minutes, then add your cheese and that will stop it from curdling or separating. Right, now you want to add your grated cheese once you've let that sauce cool down a little bit. Now, because it's gone in the pie, you want it fairly thick. You don't want this sauce too runny. And when you add the cheese, it makes it that little bit thicker. Now, once you've added it, if you find that it's not melting completely, you can turn the gas on low at that point. All right, you want to sprinkle the worktop with some flour to roll out your pastry. Now, bear in mind, if you've left your pastry in the fridge overnight, do take it out a couple of hours to beforehand to let it soften. Take it out of the cling film and basically you want just over half for the bottom and less of the half for the top. So first of all you roll out your bottom part of the pie and you can put a bit of flour on your rolling pin and just put a slight pressure on and then turn it. until you get the size that you want. Okay, so you put your dish over to check what size you need. And basically, once you know it covers the top, you've got enough. So what you want to do is get your rolling pin on top of your pastry, bring the top section over and just lift and roll it. Bring your thumbs to under it a bit and you want to be rolling it towards you. Then you get your dish and you 
hold it over the top and then you roll away from you. And what you want to do is lift the pastry up and then push down with the knuckle of your first finger. You're less likely to put a hole in it if you're lifting the pastry up as you're pushing it down with the finger. If you do get a hole in it, don't panic. You can just patch it up with a, an excess bit of pastry. It's not the end of the world. Okay, you want a, a little bit of a sharp knife. And you lift your dish up and you're going to cut away from you on the outside of your pie. Right, so for the filling of our pie, we want to put our vegetables... directly into the pie and then you want to just pour your sauce on because it will seep down into the vegetables. Now you can leave this as it is and put it in the oven or you can make a top for it. Just let it cool down for about five minutes and then put your top. So as you can see if you just measure the dish Okay, so once you've measured it and you know you've got enough, you just roll it over again like we did last time. Bring it towards you. And then we place it over the top of the pie. Right, and then we just press down on the edge with a fork. Bring it away from the pie, working down the ways. And then you just pull the excess away and you want to make a couple of holes let the steam out and then it's ready to put in the oven right so here's the pie when it comes out of the oven And there is your lovely vegetable pie. Thank you for watching Lifestyle with Sharon and the video today on how to make a vegetable pie. Hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to doing more videos for you.